Here soon, I'm gonna be getting another Elegoo Centauri Carbon. It's a great little printer, love it. They're inexpensive and it's gonna go right over here next to this one. With two printers running, it very well may cause vibration and cause issues with individual uh, prints. So what I'm going to do is install anti-vibration feet on this. You can get them from Elegoo. I think they're $9 for a set of feet for these things. I'm gonna show you how to install it and I'll warn you ahead of time, it is extremely complicated and time consuming. So uh, here, I'll show you how to do it. All right, this is what you're gonna get in the mail, a little cardboard box. Open up the box, it's going to have your anti-vibration feet in it. To install these things, take them out of the foam. It's got two different sides, got a flat side and then this side. Tilt your printer back, find your, locate the foot. Take one of these, stick it on there. Grab another one out. Stick it on there. Get your last two. And now it's all wiggly. Now, it's probably not wholly necessary, but because when you do the initial setup on this thing and do the PID tuning, it goes through a vibration compensation procedure. Now we've got the feet on here, it might perform differently. I don't know if it will or not, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and rerun the initial setup on this thing because it will vibrate differently now. We're gonna to go to our uh, calibration settings. We're gonna do uh, one click self check. It will run through everything. It's not completely necessary, but we're gonna go ahead and do the one click self check. It will do input shaping, PID tuning, automatic leveling. We're gonna go ahead and hit select all and hit start. These are a relatively cheap and effective way to keep vibration from one printer transferring into the other. If you're going to run multiple printers on one uh, workbench, it's not a bad investment. Anyways, real stupid, simple, quick upgrade to my printers. Real stupid, simple, quick video. Please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.